Nick says that the new Mini 3 is much more accurate than the Mini 2. They sent me this Mini 3 for free, but they didn't set any limitations. So I'm free to just say whatever I want. Well, alrighty then. Okay, so it clocks in at it's $145 Canadian. It'll match to more than 300,000 paint brand colors. Well, that's pretty impressive. It comes ready to use right out of the box, all calibrated, ready to go, and it should stay that way. But if for some reason it becomes decalibrated, not a word, decalibrated? If for some reason it goes out of whack, they ship it now with this, it's called a diagnostics tile. I'm not gonna go into detail about that right now, but if you stick till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how this thing works and how to get it recalibrated. It is also now splash and dust resistant, which is great, especially for people like me who are often are on construction sites with interior design projects. So if I wanna use it there, it's all safe and sound and ready to go. It uses Bluetooth 4.0. It's made in Canada, which I love being Canadian. Yet another amazing invention from Canada. Yeah, we're right freaking smart, eh? 30 day refund, one year warranty, and free quick shipping. It also comes with a lanyard, makes it handy for carrying it around, and a USB-C upgraded charging cable. And look at that, an actual full length of, of cable. I, Dude, what is going on with products these days where they're sending these little charging cables that are that big? What the f am I supposed to do with that? Are we having like a, a cable shortage or something in the world? No. Now, the one thing I did notice though, with my Mini 2, I got this great little like microfiber bag. They didn't send it with the Mini 3. So that's kind of a, hey, Nix, maybe think about that because this was perfect because it was great for cleaning your lens. But what are you gonna do? The Mini 2 was actually quite good. It was 100% though. They said this is an improvement. Let's find out. By the way, there is an affiliate link and discount code in the description below. But wait, don't go yet. Uh, I'm filming all this before I've done the actual testing and I don't want to recommend something to you that isn't worthy. All right, so let's go test. So Nix has combined any of their previous apps into one now. It's now called the Nix Toolkit. Obviously we want to download it uh, either from the Google Play Store or from the uh, Apple Store, whichever one you are, I'm Android. I'm going to search for the Nix Toolkit. There it is right there. Okay, I already have it, so I'm just gonna open it. And there you go, that's what you'll see. Up in the top right corner, you're gonna see a little line diagram of the NYX uh, Mini with a line through it. Push that, and you're gonna wanna click on Connect to NYX, okay? It's looking around. It's gonna try to find them just like any other Bluetooth device. Mine are already set up, so it's not gonna show up on the list, but you can see it there. I've got the NYX Mini 2 set up, and I've got the NYX Mini 3 set up. I'm gonna click NYX Mini 3. Device has been found. It's synchronizing. The lights flashed battery's high, and there you go. The app is pretty extensive, so I'm not gonna go through everything in this video here today. But let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a video with more detail on how to use the app. Hey, but in a nutshell, what you can do is you can go here into single scan, and that's gonna give you digital values, like the RGB, the hex, the whatever that one is. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> and match is gonna match up with paint brands. And Nick says that they can match with over 300,000 colors, which is amazing. You can also create your own custom libraries and you can even save your faves and share them with other people. And you can also subscribe to premium libraries, things like uh, the Pantone colors, NCS and RAL. Okay, that's very cool. Uh, hey, look at that. Right here under manage and browse libraries, look at how they spell color, hey. You guys are a Canadian company. That's not how Canadians spell color. You're supposed to be O-U-R on the end, eh? Anyway, today we're just gonna use the match function and we're gonna check the accuracy by, I've got three paint brands. We're gonna try Benjamin Moore, Sherwin-Williams, and Farrell and Ball. We're gonna put the Mini 3 on top of them and let's see if they can accurately guess what color they are. Okay, first one. We're gonna go with Farrell and Ball. I'm gonna pick three colors, a white, Ooh, look at this bright orange. I know there's a really, they have a really nice dark blue. All right, so all we gotta do, put our Mini 3 on top of the paint chip. Oh wait, sorry, what's it called? Strong White, number 2001. Okay, put the Mini 3 there, click Match match paint brands. So actually I got a couple comments on uh, my previous videos. People were having a hard time finding, hey, how do I set the paint brands? And, and I get it, it, it's a bit confusing. So you have to scan first, okay? So click scan with NYX. Whatever one you last left with will be in there. Right now we've got Sherwin-Williams. Right here is the, like a little icon that looks like uh, some folded playing cards. Click, click that and you get into the select brands. Here's where you can select your brands. But if this is the first time you're going in there, it wants to know what country you're in. So th this list will pop up. I'm in Canada, so I've selected Canada. And then that gives you a list of 
There you go. There's all the paint companies you can pick from in your country. All right, so we want Ferro and Ball. Here we go. Colors, let's go. Scan. Oh my God, look at that. Number one, okay, so what it does is it scans the color and it gives you a list of what it thinks is the closest match to that, best to not as best, okay? And then it uses a dot system. Three dots, very, very good. And then now see there's a two dot, another two dot, two dot, two dot, two dot. How far? Right down to one dots, okay? So right at the top, it's the only one that has three dots, Strong White 2001. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, Strong White 2001, it did it, woohoo. All right, let's try the orange. What's this called? Charlotte's Locks. Okay, press scan with NYX. There's orange, oh my God. Charlotte's Locks, wow, that's really, really good. I'm very impressed with that. This is our blue, what I say? Egg blue, scan with NYX. Holy crap. Hog blue, number one. The only one has three dots and then after that is like one dot. So it's like not great match. Holy shit. You know what? I don't care. I want to do one more. Let's do a different white. I feel like whites are harder to get, especially when they're very close to each other. Let's try this white right here. Watch, it'll be the same one. Nope. Uh, Wimborne white, number 239. Scan with NYX. <laughs> wow, Wimborne White, number one. Now there's two that have three dots. Wimborne White, which is what we've selected, and Pointing, 2003. So there they are there. Let's go on to this one, Pointing. Scan again, let's see if it'll flip them. <laughs> it did. Dude. Yep, liking that. Okay, now we're gonna do Sherwin-Williams. I'm gonna pick three from here. Ooh, like that. That really bright fuchsia. I like that green. This top one. And let's go for, let's do a black this time because they're pretty tricky too. What's their main black that they use all the time is tricorn black. There it is. That's it right there on the top. Let's start with the pink. That's what she said. Put the mix on top. Going to match. Match to paint brands. We got to scan it first. It's going to bring up Ferro and Ball because we just did that. Click the little icon here in the top right. Let's go down, scroll down, down, down to Sherwin-Williams. There we go. Now they have a number, oops. Within each paint brand, it'll show like a listing of all the different sort of lines that they carry. I don't really know much about the lines at Sherwin-Williams, so I'm just gonna pick all of them. Oh, one other thing I noticed, you can only pick one paint brand at a time. I'm not, I can't, if I'm just trying to match a random color of a vase or something, let's say, and I wanna go, okay, find the closest match within these four different brands. I have to do it one brand at a time. I'm not really sure if that's sort of a conflicting programming issue or, with the app or something, because I feel like before, in with the Mini 2 or at least the previous app, I was able to do that. So that, whatever, it's not a big deal, but it would be something nice to be able to look for more than one brand at a time. But we're sticking here with Sherwin-Williams for now. Confirm selection. Okay, it's got three dots on exuberant pink. What is this called? <laughs> Dude, exuberant pink. It did it. Here we go. I'm not even gonna look at the names. I wanna, I wanna scan it first, see what it comes up with, and then, in anticipation, see if it worked. Scan with Nix. Okay. Uh, three dots. Humorous green. <laughs> That's so humorous. Um, mother effer. Look at that. Humorous green. Number one pick. Three dot pick. All right, oh, I, this one I already know that we're gonna do the tricorn black right here at the very top. Scan with NYX. <sighs> wow. Tricorn black right at the top. One more, one more, one more, one more. I like these sort of bluey muted gr grays here. Okay, this third one here. I don't, I'm not gonna look at the name. Scan with NYX. Faded flax flower. Okay, third one. Uh, <laughs> faded flax flower. Wow, we are, what is that? Eight for eight? That's amazing. Okay, I got a Benjamin Moore pack here. Very vibrant. Let's do the, this really dark green. Again, I'm not gonna look at the names yet. How about a very muted soft uh, pink. Let's do a light, light yellow. Alrighty, start with the dark green. 
Okay, scan with Nix. Remember, we're gonna get the last uh, company that we did, so Sherwin-Williams. Click the icon in the top right. Scroll down to Benjamin Moore. Now, Benjamin Moore has a number of different lines. I know that anytime I've used classics, I don't know why I don't have them. I don't have access to those paint chips. I'm not sure if that's actually available in Canada. So I always skip that one, but let's do all the rest. I'll even click off white for the hell of it because this one might be a considered an off white. Confirm selection. What do we got? Hunter Green, three dots right at the top. First choice. <laughs> Hunter Green. Dude. Dude. All right, let's try the light yellow. Scan with NYX. Lemon chiffon. Uh-oh, Milky Way. But Milky Way is second, and it's still a three dot. Oh, and another one, Cottontail. Oh, it's got a bunch of them that have three dots. Hmm. You know, it's because it's off-white. They're so close to each other. Okay, look, it didn't get, it isn't the number one choice, but it's the number two choice. I'm giving that a... A thumbs up. That's that's a go. This really light pink. Scan Nix. Uh, little piggy. <laughs> oh my god! I want to use that now in somebody's house just because I like the name. Wish it was Miss Piggy. Oh my! Look at little piggy. This little piggy went to market. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. I got another Benjamin Moore. This is their Aura collection. So this is a, a really high end collection from Benjamin Moore. They don't, I think it's, I don't know how to properly explain it, but it's basically very scientific. They don't use black to create these colors. They use all kinds of other color science and stuff. It can only be done in their higher end paint line, Aura. I wanna do, oh, there's one called Plaster of Paris that I really like. There it is, I like Plaster of Paris. It's like this, that grayish that was so big for a little while. Oh, I have a Tomato Tango, the top there, and a nice dark teal, I'll do that. Let's do Plaster of Paris first. Scan with NYX. <laughs> Plaster of Paris right there on the top. Tomato Tango. Do we get it? <laughs> Tomato Tango. Uh, spa Day. Oh no, sorry, I said I wanted to do this really dark one. What is this called? Avalon Teal. Avalon Teal. Wow. Dude, very, very impressive. Okay, I have this one random paint chip lying around. It's from a company called CIL. I've never used them. I don't remember why I have this. I think I got it from, just grabbed it as one of these samples from Home Depot, actually. I think they carry this paint line. Let's see. I don't even know if it's in the list here on the NYX. We're gonna find out, aren't we? I wanna see if we have CIL in here. Oh, look at that, we do. There's only one. Confirm selection. <laughs> white on white. So as mentioned, the Mini 3 comes fully calibrated in the box, ready to go. But if by some small chance, it does get a little out of whack, the diagnostics tile is what's gonna help you recalibrate it and put it back to factory setting. So you're gonna go into the app. You wanna make sure you're already connected to the Mini 3. Click the little top right corner uh, line drawing of the Mini 3, and it's gonna give you all your device info. And if you scroll down here, perform white tile normalization. Click on that, there you go. So now it's gonna walk you through what to do. Every NYX Mini 3 device is shipped with a diagnostics tile. Take the tile out of the included protective sleeve. Done. Start. Scan the QR code on the diagnostics tile. Okay, click the uh, scan QR code button. There we go. Now, place the NYX Mini 3 in the center of the white patch below the QR code. There we go. Press validate. There we go. successful. The reference tile was successfully scanned and has been used to fine tune the device's calibration. There you go. Simple. But you shouldn't have to do this, so don't worry about it. Well, how do you like them apples? It recognized everything I threw at it. All of them. Sure, there was that one off-white uh, where it was number two in the list. Dude, whites are hard to recognize, so I'm giving it a pass because in the grander scheme of things, it recognized it and it was right at the top. So I'm giving the NYX Mini 3 an A+, which means I'm giving you the official green light to go out and get yourself one. Just click the link in the description below and then type in Teb Mini 3 in the promo code to get yourself 10% off and tell them Terry sent you.